Lifting up their, their prayers and they are now smiling, they are picking flowers. Um, Saint Teresa of the Child Jesus. <laughs> Back to my channel, I'm Elamo Carol. This is my relationship, great lifestyle. And today's vlog, we're going to a little great shrine with my girls. We are at the park, park to go to Sassy. Why are you looking like people are suffering? So, want to go and pray? Let God hear us. See their faces. We want God to hear our prayers. This is us. Welcome. Just a smile. If you no smile, smile. You're problem. Yeah, I need to pray. That's not me. You should look like your problems. <laughs> so the shrine we're visiting today is called Our Lady of Grace Shrine in Saseboya, directly opposite Saint Joseph's College, Sase. I think we all know that school. Like it's so popular. It's such a popular boarding school. So yeah, that's where it's located. And I know some of you will be like, eh, shrine. <laughs> Carol is taking us to one Babalawa's house. Please, please, please calm down. Take a chill pill. Let's Google that word shrine. Let's hear what Google has to tell us about the word shrine. So Google says a shrine is a place regarded as holy because of its associations with a divinity or a sacred person or relic mark marked by a building or other constructions so you see calm down bring some water and juice i'm not taking you to any fetish place okay this is just a holy ground where people come to pray so yes that's where we're heading to right now and it's been so long we went to this place i think since the crisis started about four years now we haven't been to the place before crisis this was like our usual spot for prayers like me and my friends usually always come there to pray before crisis but since the crisis started this place is regarded as baghdad like there was so much shooting here so people barely used to even pass here so i'm giving you guys a view of baghdad everything has changed we have so many control police control spots on the road before you reach and now they actually have a park before cars um, and bikes just used to st um, stand at memos and you just take a bike and you go to where you're going to but now bikes don't even move on this road you have to actually board a car they have a park somewhere somewhere we actually had to discover because we did not even know they now have a park so you see everything has just changed so look at the beautiful scenario the tea the toilet tea i think now dawara has bought that tea estate so yes come with me as we go along to pray fab see i was so excited i'm finally coming back to this spot after so many years so fam, just 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 enjoy the ride with us just enjoy so that's sasle there that's the school st joseph's college sasle and directly opposite it so if you come to this place you cannot get lost just say you're going to sasle directly opposite st joseph's college sasle this is the entrance of the shrine so there is no way you can get missing you must find your way so far um, we are just arriving here we're arriving here we've come to pray now we're not going to pray yes. <laughs> we have come to pray we are a little of grace right <laughs> Coming here fam, I was so excited. Please don't ask me why I was excited. But I was so excited. My friends were carrying these long faces about. And you want to watch till the end to actually see their expressions on their faces after prayers. They were just so happy and everybody was smiles. I don't know, like the effect of this place, right? So yeah, this is us going there. And as you can see, there are directions as you're entering there. So this place... Don't say you cannot come here because you don't know the place you're going to get missing. There are directions on every step of the way. You see arrows showing you way in, way out. We actually, we're not following the arrows because we already know the place. We're familiar with the place. But again, if you're new here, 
you can always find yourself to the exact place if you know you want like you want to just shut out from the world you want a place to rejuvenate you want a place to reconnect with god you want a place where you feel like the atmosphere here is just like it's you and god <laughs> like you don't hear the noise from the busy world like cars bikes all that stuff it's you and nature the place is so so beautiful i recommend it for anybody anytime it's not only for catholics non-catholics can also come there if you just want people come there for pilgrimage as well people just come to to just enjoy the nature of the place because it's really really beautiful it's a really really beautiful sight to see and it's believed that the water coming out from the rocks are holy because that's a whole story for another day so it's just a beautiful place i mean just the scenario the flowers and the quietness of the place the serenity of the place it makes you feel like whatever problem you're presenting to god like he is hearing you like in short your prayers are already answered that's the kind of vibe this place gives you don't get me wrong it's not like if you don't come and pray in this place god will not answer your prayers it's just a place to reconnect with god and it's so beautiful about nature. Fam, this place is nature 
first hand <laughs> yes that's why i say if you're looking for a place where you want to retreat you want to shut down from the world for a while you just want to meditate reflect think about your life and reconnect back to god this is the place fam this is the place all what you can get is the sound of the waterfalls bird shipping you know all that good stuff like this is natural nature <laughs> like nature on tampa this is raw nature it's so beautiful like i said this water is believed to be holy people come here to carry it not only catholics even inhabitants of the village in sasebe come here to fetch the water so many testimonies have come up as a result of this water this place it was believed that mary appeared to somebody here so that's why the only modification they have done there is just to like build that little statue of her just to remind us of the holiness of the place and then they have built chapels around the place where you can actually sit when you come for your pilgrimage you can actually sit and you guys pray there if you just want some way to sit down so yes many people carry the water and mind-blowing testimonies have come up as a result of using this water so this is a small um, zinc they have just connected like to make the carrying of water process easy for those who wish to carry water because most of the times people who come here to visit always always come with their containers like to carry water back to their houses and it is 100 percent clean fresh water it is drinkable i actually drank it and i'm sure i inserted a clip they drinking the water so do not be afraid the water is clean i have been drinking the water for many many years now so if it was on pill maybe by now i would have died but if i'm alive and you're watching this video it means the water is actually really clean and drinkable i have been drinking it with no issues so yes that's it just enjoy the scenario of this beautiful place i mean what wonderful dish beautiful dish whatever english is there to describe this place i mean god is so awesome like you see the glory of god evident yeah you know that god is truly not man i mean it's only god who can actually make water goes out from rocks can you explain that can your geographer explain that <laughs> definitely not give god the glory anytime you feel you want to I'm still at this point. If you feel you really want to just shut down, come yeah. Okay, don't say I'm not a Catholic because I know that's what many people will say. Don't box God. God is for everybody, be you Catholic, Pentecostal, whatsoever. God is for all of us. The Bible says if they are not against me, therefore they are with me. So if you're with God, you're with God. It doesn't matter where you choose to to practice religion okay now i want to start preaching <laughs> bye fam <laughs> watch the video to the end
She can hit my head. She was coming here. She was coming with a lot of problems. God now she can problems. she can hit my head. Really? It's God no good. <laughs> God is good. Now everybody's smiling. From when I was coming here, we're not making serious mm -hmm. things. <laughs> we're not making serious things. Now people are praying. God has lifted. God has lifted all their their prayers and they are now smiling. They are picking flowers. Um, Saint Teresa of the Child That's Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> oh little flower. Oh dear Saint Teresa. Speak for me, a little flower from your garden. <laughs> Spray it with love, which frankness is precious. That God makes me grant me this favor. I ask. Oh, yeah, be one of the most stupid girls that you have to go. Holy, holy, very non talent. Oh, dear Saint Teres, speak for me. Five of Saint Teres. What can you say? What's your name? Gladys. Gladys, what can you say? Just pray that all of our hearts desires will be granted. Amen. Amen.